Welcome to Top Shows. I hope you are having an amazing day. Today I will show you a 2012 adventure drama film called Life of Pi. A young man who survives a disaster at sea is hurtled into an epic journey of adventure and discovery. While cast away, he forms an unexpected connection with another survivor, a fearsome Bengal tiger. Sit back, relax and enjoy the movie breakdown. Pai Patel, an immigrant from Pondicherry in India living in Montreal, Canada, is approached by a local novelist who has been referred to him by his uncle a family friend, believing that Pai's life story is so fascinating and amazing that it would make a great book. Pai tells us an extended tale from his life. The tale starts at childhood. His parents had named him Piscine Molitor after a swimming pool in France. He changes his name to Pi the mathematical symbol. When he begins secondary school, even repeating numerous digits of Pi, because he is tired of being taunted with the nickname Pissing Patel. His family owns a local zoo, and Pi takes an interest in the animals, especially a Bengal tiger named Richard Parker because of a clerical error. Pi tries to feed the tiger, endangering himself to being attacked, and to teach him the reality of the tiger's nature as a carnivore. Pi's father, Santosh Patel forces him to witness it killing a goat. He is raised Hindu and vegetarian, but at 12 years old, he is introduced to Christianity, and then Islam, and starts to follow all three religions as he just wants to love God. When asked if he is also Jewish, he replies that he lectures in Kabbalah at the university. When Pai is 16, his father decides to close the zoo and move his family to Canada, and sell the zoo animals, to ensure a good future for his children. They book passage with their animals to be sold in North America on a Japanese freighter named the Tsimtsum. On board the ship, Pai's father gets into an argument with the ship's cook Gerard Depardieu when he rudely speaks to Pai's mother, Gita Patel. One night, the ship encounters a heavy storm and begins to sink while Pai is on deck marveling at the storm. He tries to find his family, but a crew member throws him into a lifeboat. From the rough sea, he watches helplessly as the ship sinks, killing his family and its crew. After the storm, Pai finds himself in the lifeboat with an injured zebra and is joined by an orangutan named Orange Juice, who lost her offspring in the shipwreck. A spotted hyena emerges from the tarp covering half of the boat and kills the zebra. To Pai's distress, the hyena also mortally wounds the orangutan in a fight. Suddenly Richard Parker emerges from under the tarp and kills and eats the hyena. Pai finds emergency food and water rations on the boat. He builds a small raft of flotation devices so that he can stay at a safe distance from the tiger. Realizing that he must feed the tiger to protect himself, Pai begins fishing with some success. He also collects rainwater for both to drink. At one point, he makes a board ladder for the tiger to climb back into the boat after it had jumped off to hunt fish. In a nighttime encounter with a breaching whale, Pai loses much of his supplies. After many days at sea, Pai realizes that he can no longer live on the tiny raft and trains the tiger Richard Parker to accept him in the boat. He also realizes that caring for the tiger is keeping him alive. After weeks longer at sea, near the end of their strength, they reach a floating island of edible plants, supporting a forest, fresh water pools, and a large population of meerkats. Both Pai and Richard Parker eat and drink freely and regain strength. But at night the island transforms into a hostile environment, with the fresh water turning acidic, digesting all the dead fish that died in the pools. The tiger returns to the lifeboat at night. Pai finds a human tooth inside a plant flower and concludes that the plants are carnivorous, requiring them to leave the island. The lifeboat eventually reaches the coast of Mexico, finally back on land. Richard Parker stumbles away from Pai and stops at the edge of the jungle. Pai expects that the tiger will turn toward him and acknowledge him, but instead he looks into the jungle for a while and goes in. Pai, too weak to follow, lies in the sand. He is rescued by a group who carry him to hospital, but he weeps that the tiger had walked away without him. In hospital, insurance agents for the Japanese freighter come to hear his account of the incident. They find his story unbelievable and ask him to tell them what really happened if only for the credibility of their report. He answers with a less fantastic but detailed account of sharing the lifeboat with his mother, a sailor with a broken leg, and the cook. In this story, the cook kills the sailor to use him as bait and food. In a later struggle, Pai's mother pushes him to safety on a smaller raft, and the cook stabs her as she falls overboard to the sharks. Later, Pai returns to grab the knife and kills the cook. In the present, the writer notes parallels between the two stories. The orangutan was Pai's mother, the zebra was the sailor, the hyena was the cook, and Richard Parker, the tiger, was Pi himself. The writer notices a closing comment about the remarkable feat of surviving 227 days at sea, especially with the tiger. The end. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this.